wanted to see a man struggle wearing high heels the way we women have to sometimes. Well, you are Wake Up Wiregrass roving reporter Cody Giles live this morning to tell you where and when you can behold such a spectacle and for a worthy cause at that. Good morning, Good morning. Wiregrass. I'm here in this Angela Underwood, the executive director of House of Ruth here in Dothan. Thanks for joining me here this morning. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. And for those people who may not know in the area, what exactly is the House of Ruth and what do you all do for the surrounding community? The House of Ruth is a nonprofit organization that provides safe shelters for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault for the surrounding nine counties, both in shelter and out of shelter services. Those out of shelter services include court advocacy, um, victim advocacy, counseling, a 24 hour crisis line, um, assistance with housing, as well as education. I got you. And how many people do y'all help uh, on a regular basis, let's say weekly? Hmm. Um, the intake at the shelter, it fluctuates up and down. Some come, so some go, some come back. Um, but our capacity is 24. Gotcha. And during this pandemic, we've been restricted to 50% intake. Got you. And then uh, I know that y'all uh, host events in order to help raise funds and, and, and raise awareness more than anything. I hear that y'all have one of those events happening in just a couple of days. What is that event? What's going to be taking place? And how can people get involved? It's our sixth annual Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, and it's going to take place this Saturday, um, April 10th, at 8.30 a.m. for registration and 10 o'clock for the walk. And anyone interested in donations, being sponsors, they're welcome to do so from bronze level to silver. Um, we'll have men out in their red high heels and shoes, costumes, uh, there'll be prizes, and these monies all go to the House of Ruth and helping us to continue services for these surrounding nine counties. I got you. Where will this event be held? It'll be held at Kiwanis Park this year, and that's 960 Deer Path Road right here in Dothan. Got you. And uh, now the pandemic is seemingly coming to an end. You have mask mandates are being lifted here in Alabama tomorrow, and vaccines are being administered now for people as young as 16 and hopefully soon enough as young as 12 years old. Well, what's the future looking like, and what's the rest of this year looking like for the House of Ruth now that the pandemic is coming to an end? Well, we will continue our services. We'll be, um, you'll see more, us more in the community, back in the courts. Um, we'll be back at capacity, um, and we'll continue to do the very best we can in the community and with our upcoming um, candlelight visual in October and back to our gift wrapping in December. I got you. We're just about out of time. I was going to ask what else y'all had going on. You want to elaborate on either one of those real quick? Um, none other than last year we weren't able to do it, and we're looking forward to the support from the community this year. While we provide those services, we look forward to their support. And yes, I'm ma very grateful for that. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much for joining me here this morning. You're welcome. And thank all of you for joining us here this morning. I'll see you back here real soon. But until then, I'm Cody Giles. Wake up, Wiregrass.